now from your weather authority, here's Dr. Athena Masson, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. All right, in less than one hour, we will officially be in the fall season. We should be seeing temperatures at least in the 80s, so... Yes, why are we still seeing the 90s? I'm even wondering that myself. Reaching up to a high of 95 degrees today. Even our lows not getting with the agenda. 77 degrees. This ties a record high minimum temperature for today. Record set back in 1926, 101 degrees. Looking out to the north, mostly cloudy skies. Those showers starting to fizzle in our northern and our western counties. Temperature right now, 76 degrees in downtown San Angelo. Pretty nice night, but humidity, 74 percent. A little bit of mugginess in the atmosphere. Winds very light, approaching from the south at three miles per hour. Across the Concho Valley, still temperatures continuing to sizzle in our eastern counties. 83 in Coleman, slightly lower in Brady and Mason at 81 degrees, 82 in Junction, a little bit lower in Menard at 80 degrees, but we have some 70s across the board, mostly out towards our northern counties where we did see some showers move through earlier this evening. 73 in Robert Lee as well as Sterling City, 81 still holding in Ozona. Texas satellite and radar, high pressure remains off on the east coast, and what came through our area? A very weak cold front, and it is moving very slowly, will become a station Stationary front during the overnight hours. Now, this is good news. We want it to become stationary and move very slowly. This will give us another chance to see rain enter into our area for tomorrow. And then just behind that, we have this trough of low pressure well off to the west at this time. But once this cold front starts to move away, it will set back up once again very close to our area. That's where most of our isolated rain chances will occur during the next few days throughout the week. Satellite and radar, those showers are starting to die off. Reagan County and Sterling County, even outwards towards Coke County. A couple of those isolated showers still maintaining their intensity. And for the overnight hours, you might hear a rumble of thunder or two. Most of these are dying, though. Looking ahead at your future cast, during the overnight hours, most of us remain clear for our northwestern counties. A couple isolated showers may be moving through and still lingering during the early morning hours. But as we go through the afternoon, by around the lunch hour, a couple of these isolated showers starting to pop up across the Concho Valley. And then at 7 o'clock p.m., even a little bit earlier, we'll see scattered showers moving through not only for our northern and our western counties, but into our central counties as well. So a better chance for all of us to see some of those cooling rain showers by tomorrow. For your five-day temperature trend, once again, fall should be here in just a few short minutes. We should be seeing temperatures at least in the 80s. Note by a bad news for everyone, they are still summer-like across the board. 94 degrees for tomorrow, 97 rising up to Wednesday and Thursday. And then by the end of the week, still in those mid-90s. Upcoming rain chances, though, hey, we'll take what we can get. At least we have some isolated rain chances throughout the week. 30% chance for tomorrow, and then lowering down just slightly 20% mostly in the a.m. hours and then rising back up by the end of next week. Forecast for tonight, still going to be a very warm night, only lowering down to 75 degrees. 20% chance of rain, that will mostly be for our western and our northern counties. And then tomorrow, rising on up, 94 degrees, better shot at rain throughout the Concho Valley. Still, western and northern counties will benefit mostly from the majority of that rain. Seven-day forecast. At least I can put on one little thunderstorm icon for tomorrow with that 30% chance. Welcoming the fall season, but those temperatures still continuing to be in the mid to upper 90s. Now going back to that weather trivia question, Victor, what do you think? San Angelo has seen how many consecutive days of temperatures at or above 90 degrees? I think it's a trick. I think we're supposed to add them all together. That is not an answer. I am so disappointed in you. The answer is C, 101 consecutive days of temperatures at or above 90 degrees. The previous record, we shattered it, was 88 days set back in 2011. Now, on average, San Angelo typically experiences its first 90-degree day around the end of May on the 29th, and the final 90-degree day should have been on September 6th. Now, here's some bad news. With a preliminary report so far, 2019 is so far the hottest year on record with an average temperature of 69.8 degrees compared to 2019 at 69.3. Now we still have September, October, November, and December to go, so it could change, but with the way our temperatures are going, it's going to be probably one for the record books. All right.
Well, thank you very much for that enlightening answer. And still to come in sports, Ryan announces this week's KLST.